Hi, George Crump, Lead Analyst with Storage Switzerland. We are at VMworld 2014. And one of the big things that we're talking about a lot at VMworld th this year is Flash. And there's a lot of different things to talk about as it relates to Flash. So to help us with that conversation, I've asked Scott Shadley from Micron to join us. Scott, you're now the product line manager at uh, Micron, right? Correct, for the enterprise storage. What does that mean? It means I get to help uh, look at forward in time and help strategize around what we're going to do next as far as what we can do to better Flash in these types of environments, whether it be virtualized environments or whatever else may be out there. Well, let's start there. Let's start with uh, v one of my favorite subjects, VSAN. Absolutely. Um, so VSAN, right, as, as a basic architecture, we're going to leverage the existing hosts and we're going to install a storage component, if you will, in Correct. there. And, and that means that um, uh, IT planners now have some decisions to make, right? Now they kind of have to pay attention of what they're going to put inside their uh, servers as far as storage goes. Obviously, Flash has a big role to play Correct. there. How do you guys help people out? Well, so it's very interesting because the vSAN hardware reference today that exists, they tell you you got to have your PCIe card, which Micron happens to be fully certified in vSAN with our, both our SLC and MLC solutions, mm -hmm. the P320 and P420M. Uh, but they say that you got to have hard drives with it. And the beauty of it is, as you go into these architectures and you put in that nice PCIe drive, and then you got your HDDs up here, the problem that happens is no matter what the host is, no matter what the platform is, when you get out to the certain workloads on those platforms, your performance does that. Because spinning Rust does a great job of slowing everything down. Right, sure. And so what we're trying to do differently at Micron is highlight, and we've got this in our booth, so those of you that are uh, going to be watching this after the show, we'll, we'll put it out on the website. But we have an implementation where we take out those hard drives and we put in SSDs. Okay. And so instead of having this in there, I've got now a quote unquote unapproved today, we're working on that from a, an integration with VMware and a, the vSAN implementation, where your performance never falls off because you've got all solid state storage in your platform. Okay, so do I, so I have a PCIe card as my kind of frontline cache, cache. And the, but my fail back is to SSD. Right. And your storage is SSD. Okay. Now the trick here is, and what everybody's really worried about is, well, I love SSD, but it's just too expensive. Right. We've actually been able to put together a platform because of the variety of drives that we have available to our customers, whether it be PCIe, a SATA drive that's read optimized, a SATA drive that's write optimized, however you want to look at it, to be able to make this platform cost less than that. Okay. So how and does that's that really work? The, that's really the kicker here. So what we got to do is you got to start looking at the TCO of the overall box. Okay. And so if you look at it from a hard disk drive perspective, a 10K, 1.2 terabyte drive today, that's, some, that's a general purpose enterprise yeah. class well, drive. Well, I think that's fair because one of the things we do point out to people that are designing vSAN architectures is you can't go down to Fry's and get the cheapest possible hard drive you can get your right. hands on, right? You still got to buy something good. So I think it's, that's yeah. a fair thing. So on average, that hard drive is going to cost me about 58 cents a gigabyte for a 1.2 terabyte drive. Now, the performance of that drive, I'm still talking 400 IOPS, mm -hmm. best case. On average, 250. Well, 250 IOPS means that over the entire five-year lifetime of that particular product, I can only write a total amount of data to this drive of 70 terabytes. Okay. So when everybody says, well, you know what, SSDs have a finite life to them. Well, you know what, they do. But when I can only write 70 terabytes to a hard drive over five years, who really cares what the wear characteristics right. are of the SSD? Yeah. So if you look at our implementation, we're giving you a 960 gigabyte read-optimized SSD, and it happens to run you today. 54 cents a gigabyte. Okay. So drive for drive, I'm cheaper. Yep. Already out of the gate. Now we talk about the IO, 48,000 IOPS. There's where your cliff disappears. Right. We're talking from a wear characteristic, this particular drive that we're talking about, read optimizes 72 terabytes of warranted life. Okay. So it'll last a little longer than that, of course, but the warranty I put on it still gets you beyond where the hard drive right. is you today. So you're you're close here, you crush it there, and you're you're better there. Yeah. Yeah. Overall, there's absolutely no reason why you should not be buying SSDs in place of hard drives for your implementation. Well, and, and as we start to expand the TCO window here, the other big thing is if I get rid of this cliff, is now I can put a lot more VMs per host, right? Because I don't have to worry about performance as much now. Exactly. So we've we've done some partnership work. We use the company login via VSI. Mm -hmm. They have a nice little benchmarking tool, and we sat there and said, well, let's put two of these together. And we took three servers, we configured them exactly how VMware tells us to put vSAN together with these hard drives. Mm -hmm. We took All we did, take the exact three servers, same DRAM footprint, same processors, and just took out the hard drives and put in the SSDs, okay. ran things like login VSI. Okay. And, we and, and this is a happens. vSAN architecture? And this is a vSAN architecture. Okay. 
So if I look at it, the login VSI concept tells me I have to have a threshold. If I go above that, my vSAN platform isn't doing what it's supposed to be doing because I'm launching too many VMs and all that kind of stuff. So the hard drives sit here and do this, and then as you get out to about 400 VMs, they start to do this. Okay. And so basically, once I cross that threshold, performance is unacceptable. Correct. Okay. You, you've now violated the purpose of having this platform right. enabled. Okay. So if I go back now and I say, okay, I'm going to do the same thing with the SSD architecture, I start out down here, and about 500 VMs, I start to see a little bit of a hop, and then it keeps going out like this. Okay. And I don't hit the threshold till I get well past 1,000 VMs on this exact same footprint. Okay. So on a three-node vSAN cluster, you're getting over 1,000 virtual machines with right. no problem at all. With no problem at all in a platform that's actually cheaper. It's optimized around cost, not necessarily mm -hmm. performance. And that's the beauty of the, the Micron Advantage is we can give you the performance. If you want to hit 2,000, 3,000 VMs, I got a different drive. It's going to cost you a little bit more, mm -hmm. but I can still solve that problem for you in that same architecture and same box. Okay. Well, let, let's uh, wrap up with, I, I have the distinct smell of bacon in the air yeah, in the studio you, you, today. You might so. see that I'm wearing a nice little shirt here. We decided to have a little bit of uh, creativity. Geeks love VMworld. Mm -hmm. We know that every, all our IT friends want to have some fun. T-shirts are a fun giveaway. So we decided to call it out and say, Micron is the bacon of VMware because our PCIe solutions are required for your vSAN implementation. Mm -hmm. And any kind of food, you put bacon on and it just works better. Yep. And for those of us that wish we had smell-o-vision, they actually are bacon-scented. Yeah, I, I, I can tell you that we can actually <laughs> smell the shirts right now. And it's, it's not because of BO, it's because of bacon. So, yes. you know, it's the other kind of BO, bacon So it's odor. been very successful as a promotional aspect of the, of the show to be able to get people in to come take a look at what we've got to offer. And we've been very successful at you know, highlighting Mike Ren is the bacon of VMware. Nice. Very well done. Well, Scott, thanks for joining us Absolutely. today. Absolutely. Thank you. I'm George Crump, lead analyst for Storage Switzerland. Thank you for tuning in.